Alright, hey everybody, welcome back to Tangle Tower, and right now we are in Chapter 2. We've discovered a strange artifact, and it's apparently from Freya that murdered uh, the girl who was murdered. It looks like a crab with three claws. Kind of weird. Simple melodies will move his soul. So, uh, saying that we should check out Poppy's room. Is this supposed to be a clue? They... Paper lanterns? Whatever they are, I like them. It's like a little parade of floating spirits. It's one of those big pianos with the open lids. Don't touch it. Why not? Might be haunted. Those things are haunted. There's a faded mural on the wall. When I was a kid, I never knew the difference between a mural and a mosaic. You still don't know, do you? No. Oh, whatever it is, it's playing a little trumpet. Well, it is the music room. He's got to practice. What's with all the broken glass? Sheet music. It's handwritten. That's a lot of notes. Looks pretty difficult. Probably why they're on the floor. changing the pattern, but I still can't make anything out.
Who plays the violin, I wonder? It's pretty dusty, so I'm guessing nobody. about burying the lead. There's one other thing I want to do here. It's piano music. Just dusty junk. What's in that little box? I bet it's bones. A skull, at least. What's in the box? You know, maybe I won't open it. Nothing catching my interest. I'm sorry, is this spooky attic boring you? Kind of. It's a statue of a wolf, standing up straight, like a man. You know, there's a name for that. A man wolf. I know. It's not quite as dusty as everything else up here. Also, it's not a statue. It's stuffed. What is that? Not sure. Some kind of reel? Looks like it might attach to something. I think it attaches to the... This. It has the thing it says it could screw into. It's a jar. The head screws off. Huh. Someone painted out the Do you the think it was done recently? No idea. Either way, it's pretty suspicious. Just... Dusty junk. Nothing catching my interest. I'm sorry, is this... Kind of. At least the moths are kept well fed. Sally, you don't have a dust allergy, do you? No. Do you? Let me put it this way. Hush! Just dusty junk. There's a faded mural on the wall. When I was a kid, I never knew the difference between... You still don't know, do you? No. There's a faded mural when on I was, the studio. No. Sheet music. That's a lot. Probably why they're on the floor. Thank <laughs> you. 
sitting in the wrong room. Sheet music. Presumably for piano. It's only a few notes. I'd barely even call that music. Yeah, it's been framed, though. Must be important for some reason. Item I was missing. Now I can do the last one. Yeah, it's mine. Can you play the tune for us? Sure. It's literally eight notes. I have it memorized. That's all four melodies, I think. So, what do we do with them? Should we go back to the gardens again? Let's try this again. You know, I think we might be able to solve this now. That's gotta be right. Nothing. Maybe it's broken. Wait, do you hear that? It's full of the same weird water. Any fish in there? Not a single Although one. Although there is... It's a cassette tape. Or it used to be. Very found out. It's a bandstand. It's small for a bandstand. It's a one-man bandstand. Are we gonna go in? Yeah, but there's a couple of things I want to do first. Still one more suspicion. screen, I'm only missing one thing. Drawings, taped up on the wall. What's that one on the left? Looks like two people standing together in a garden. One of them's holding a red rose. There we go. I need to either ask Poppy or Fitz about it. There's something about those petals we found in Penny's room. Something suspicious. Let's ask her about it. Uh, so, yeah, we found this. Oh, <laughs> that. That's nothing. You wrote, now I'll get her, on a piece of paper and hid it in your room. That's not nothing. Actually, it's not the message I wanted to ask about. It's those red flower petals. 
the petals. They're from red roses. They're from red roses. And there's only one place in Tango Tower with red roses. We need a clue. Something that shows the roses. And who they belong to. That's pretty easy. It's the last, the only clue that unlocked everything. It's a drawing of Fitz and Poppy in the rooftop garden. See what Fitz is holding? <laughs> I can't imagine what you're getting at. But it doesn't matter. I couldn't have taken anything from the rooftop garden. It's only accessible from Fitz's room or Poppy's room. How could I have taken something from a garden to which I have no access? Is it really only accessible from those two bedrooms? For most people, it would be. But don't forget, Penny's the resident ornithologist. My dears, what are you accusing me of? What are we accusing her of? Pointer's telescope was used to spy on Poppy and Fitz because they were planning a murder. Nope. Pointer's telescope was used to spy on Poppy and Fitz and steal evidence from them. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Pointers tell that's not right. Could change one thing though. One of Penny's birds <laughs> was used to spy on Poppy and Fitz and steal evidence from them. We know those two have been spending time together in the rooftop garden. I'm guessing you got paranoid. Wanted to know what they were up to. I'm just not the jealous type. I would never suspect fits of anything like that. Besides, Tabitha hardly ever leaves her cage. She's certainly never flown up to the rooftop garden. We need a clue to compare with Penny's birds. Something to prove one of them has been in the rooftop garden. Let's take a closer look at these. This yellow feather was left behind by Penny's yellow bird when it visited the rooftop garden. hidden away up there in their private little garden. I couldn't risk spying on them myself, so I asked dear Tabitha to do it for me. I knew she'd be able to bring me back some evidence. Sorry, Penny, but are you not overreacting a little? You don't understand. Fitz is slipping away from me. He's so quiet with me these days, but being with Poppy seems to bring him out of his shell. I don't know what he sees in her miserable little... <laughs> I apologize. This really isn't your burden to bear. Are we done? For now. It's about time we found out what's beneath the garden. I'm ready to go. Where do you think it goes? Down. 
secret area. Beneath Tangle Tower. What's in there? Beetles. It's a little diagram of a beetle with some incomprehensible notes scribbled next to it. That's weird. What? It looks really normal compared to the beetles behind the glass. Nine beetles, all different, all dead. Poor little guys. Now there's a bunch of notes written all around them. It's mostly numbers. No idea what they mean. A cracked glass tank with nine little rooms. Each one has one or two insects inside. I can't tell if they're still alive. I like that you called them rooms. Is it locked? Seems likely, doesn't it? Weird looking safe. I'm pretty sure the latches can slide into the middle. It is, isn't it? No, that was it. Nice work. Anything inside? Yeah, more research. Folder container and research notes and diagrams. Our unique flora and fauna is the side by is the byproduct of a number of as unyet identified chemicals. These chemicals are continually present in the water, forming clouds and filling the lake. This causes a variety of mutations in plants and animals. Smaller creatures, such as arachnids, insects, mollusks, amphibians, and crustaceans, are the most affected. However, the chemicals may travel up the food chain and cause mutations in birds and reptiles. As far as we know, mammals remain completely unaffected. Whose research is this? This is some seriously in-depth research. That's impressive, but it's incomplete. There's a section missing. This is the section that's missing. It's number four. So, this is Pointer's secret lab. Definitely seems like he's the one using it. I guess not a lot of people know about the secret entrance. Right. But if Pointer's the only one who comes down here, why would he need to lock his research in a safe? Who is he hiding it from? He's just paranoid. Especially about his golden beetle. What do you think he's trying to do, exactly? I want 
was pretty easy. He has a little bug hotel. What else would he be doing down here? Pointer has been trying to breed the golden beetle in the underground laboratory. Why? Because it's rare? Because it's gold. Is that it? I think so. I don't think he cares about entomology any more than he cares about astronomy. He just wants to get one over on Felix. If he can breed his own gold, suddenly Poppy's inheritance is looking pretty... Uh... Infinite. Might explain why he was so worried about losing the beetle. Maybe somebody did steal it. Might have been Freya after all. We know she was trying to get through the secret door in the garden. She might not have known what was down here, though. Maybe she was just curious. Curious, sure. But not naive. I reckon she knew what was going on. I think we're still missing the bigger picture. There's no way this is all just about a beetle. We're done. Ready to go down? Again? Alright, we got an even more secreter room. A single book on a little makeshift table. This is creeping me out slightly. Why? I think it's a children's book. Mistids of the Sky and Sea, a children's picture book. It looks very old. The ink dip, an elegant bird with red and white plumage. A silver snake. Aquatic reptile with no eyes and a long tongue. The soul bearer. A crab with three differently sized claws. Ah. And Phobi, a frog like creature walking on two legs. Because this is what was mentioned in the diary. Soul Bearer works. On my way into the middle. Strange. Well, I think I'm going to leave it here for now. Let's see. That's the lowest level. Ain't getting no lower. There's a roll of paper up there. I'll see if I can reach it. Let me guess. Blank. study. Wait. I know what you're thinking. And no, we never went in there. How did we miss it? Hmm. it said this seems pretty mansion. significant. Agreed. Misted mansion. Roll of parchment on which the plans for the grand mansion have been drawn. Horizontal line marks where the lake was before. A second mark marks where it is now. The mansion must have been built on top of a large structure above the lake, supported by pillars. Freya's rooms listed as storage. A room labeled study is in the center. So there's a secret room we haven't checked out. Guess we'll have to do that next time. I think we'll be able to finish it then, too. We're really getting to the bottom of this mystery and the bottom of the tower. So thanks for joining me. We'll have uh, more fun tomorrow. We're starting a new game called Full Pipe. And on Sunday, we have the, probably the final Tangle Tower. So you don't want to miss that. And Monday, we'll have more Full Pipe. And uh, Tuesday, we are going to probably finish Tunic. So get a big start to this month. And uh, hope you're all enjoying and have a great month. See you next time. Bye-bye.